I want to further manipulate this table that we've created by talking about how you can change the column widths or the row heights. And this is this is another really simple feature, really effective, just to give your table a little more style, maybe a little more breathing room inside the cells, a little make it a little bit easier to read, or just hey, I don't have much space, let's squish this table a little bit, or I got loads of space, let's widen it out a little. So I can go into a table, let's do column widths first. All I need to do is find the dividing line between two columns. You'll notice when I move my mouse right over the top of that, I get kind of this double-headed arrow looking symbol. I'm gonna left click, hold down, and just drag. And that will allow me to change the widths of my columns. You can do the same thing over here. I wanna shrink that one up. Maybe I just wanna shrink the entire table. Let's get that all the way down. Totals aren't gonna to be that big, so I can grab this furthest left one and I can pull that one in as well. And shrinking the table down, don't need it as wide. Now, I can also change the row heights. Maybe I wanna make my product quantity price and total row, those headers, I wanna make them much, much higher. Right now they're pretty consistent. They're the headers, they should stand out a little bit, so I wanna make that a little bit larger. So that later on when I format it, I can make the text larger, center align those, do whatever I need to with it. But I'll grab the, the dividing row line and I'm just gonna drag that. And that'll allow me to change the height of the row. So change the column widths by grabbing the dividing line between the columns, just left click and drag. Grab the dividing line between the rows and you can increase the row height. So once again, make sure you're getting practice with this. All these concepts of the tables, there's a lot going on in there and a lot of little moving pieces. Try them all out. Adjust your columns, adjust your rows. Try to get it to look something like what I got on the screen here. Shrink it down, we don't need all that space. Make it a bit smaller. Decrease the width of those columns, increase the height of the, the uh, first row inside this table, because we're gonna format that later on, we're gonna make it look really good. So try this out, change your rows, change your column widths, and call it good.